Hello and welcome back. Okay, so we should have a working tree now. And it's time to actually make it turn into files. Because this is obviously unreadable. Okay, so now what, what I need to do is for every unit. So first I need to merge all of the functions together. So if we have some collisions. And so for every tree. So for tree in units. Or I guess for units in units. We're gonna take the tree and we need to merge them together which is how are we going to do probably just make a giant tree so it's going to be just a tree uh, called tree right with nothing in it and then tree dot functions and then is there like an extend nope so what we do is we get the key so for unit in units for function in unit that tree that functions obviously we're gonna make it better but right now i'm just trying to figure out how it's gonna look like uh tree functions so we get the key which means that we need to iterate over this dictionary so it's gonna be key and then the function Yes, it is a string and this is a function. So now in here we get the key. Obviously we want to say that the value is equal to this. If And I actually learned a new thing yesterday, which is I well, actually have this, which is similar to go. And I can say if value, then I want to, so what this does, is that it creates the variable value and then checks that the variable value is a, does exist which is helpful so if it exists it's going to merge them so we have that tree that oh wait what am i doing i'm iterating oh no i think it's correct yeah what functions uh key is equals to a new function etc which is by the way now when i think about it what it can do is just if you have this make function which can just be moved to the tree so including the make load table all right so i'm gonna move this all the way here to the tree now it does require format which it doesn't exist, so I'm gonna maybe make it a parameter. Let's see if it's is it gonna work. I guess it's maybe a good idea. So format is gonna be a callable. Now obviously like this. So this is going to be just this and then remove this. Oh, wait, no. Remove the word tree. Can be deleted. This is fine now, I guess. Except I need to define format as a callable. Callable. Did I not autocomplete this? Okay. Okay, this seems to be good, so now I go back, and here, all I do is I just say the tree. If I do this, of course I need to self-format. Now it works, it doesn't complain, so we move this away. And since we moved it over here, what we can do now is go to main, and in here, we don't need all of this. So for every unit, we just add tree that make function. Now, obviously, we need to for function in unit that tree that functions uh, functions. Yeah, like this. Uh, again, don't forget to say items because we also need the key. So we have tree function make function 
formatting is going to be done by I guess I need like a compilation format I guess what I'm gonna do is a format or like something like default format and then what is gonna take in it's gonna take the context right and it's going to actually return a callable callable why does it not import it? Call up. Okay, now it, work. now it works. So it's gonna define it inside here. Something like uh, FMT. Or like just format. Which will take in the key or the string, rather. Which is a string in Python. And then return string that replace namespace with the context dot uh, project id and now of course we just return the format method so this is probably going to work i'm not sure though so let's go back let's see if it works so i make a new function i set it i want to tree default format then I pass in the key and then the function lines or wait I need lines here yeah. so function lines and then function that tags list none cannot be assigned so we just say or I right, select so like this I'd actually prefer it look like this and it says an error sequence item zero expected a string Oh, I see now. So it says default format. So for some reason, the lines argument isn't actually a lines argument, which is weird, but it doesn't. Oh, because I'm an actual, okay. I'm just stupid. I, I don't, I didn't even, okay. So that's why it didn't work here. Yeah, now it works. So since it works, I assume we get a complete stream, right? So if we go into tree and look at the functions, they are all there. And you can also see the namespace has been replaced. So now for, so what we can do then in the end is just compile it. We should take, take a context. Now, obviously it doesn't exist. So we're gonna go over here and say, Define compile to take a context and then we can just let's see what are we gonna to do we say data functions equals but functions is a dictionary right it is kind of so just for key function in self dot functions we just say self data no uh, it's a context so data functions and then key equals function so i assume this is going to work it doesn't because argument is type check and be sent to parameter value of type function Let's read more about it. So the item is type function. So key equals functions. Oh, because I didn't add items. So now it still prints them out. Now it doesn't. And if we go over here, we can see that it actually created the files. And we could maybe even cat some of them. So I'm gonna, for example, pipe. And you can see it actually uses the correct file with the correct names. So it seems to be working. Now, this is all fine, but this is only for functions. So I need, now I need to do this for loot tables and then potentially for a lot more stuff, which I don't really like. I would rather make it all work like automatically 
do I want to do this or not? So, if I were to replace this, now I would also need the tree. So, I go over here, I say that I also need a tree, so I have the name. Then the tree is, is of type tree, which I obviously can't use here, so I need to surround it like this. So this would change from this to... I guess, I, okay, I guess making a generic one isn't easy. So I'll just... because they're all different. So I'll just make a loot table here. I don't really understand why this error is happening because I don't even have it anywhere. Oh, I see the reason because it's it's not double quoted at all, which is weird why it's not. So if we go to like search for every use of make loot, just like for example here. Now loot table is an NBT and I guess I just need to say for it to use JSON which now prints out a lot of text. It did do that. It also prints out some stuff, which I'm not sure where it prints it out. Oh, over here. And now if we go and say for, for example, Babylonius, you can see that it has, like it does it have like something like loot tables. It does. And it doesn't have any useful tables, which is interesting. I guess, when I compile, oh, because when I compile, I, I only do it for functions. So loot tables, tell that loot tables, data loot tables equals loot table. Now, it complains. So I guess now I can make it generic. So what I do, that's name. I'm not sure if it's going to work, by the way. So I'm just trying to experiment here. It's finished. Okay, tell me this actually works, so I can do something like place. Oh, it did work. Right? Wait, so if we go and check out loot tables, it's empty. But if I now compile loot tables, it actually works. Wow. Okay, first try. So yeah, now maybe it's good to make it more readable. So we assert that it's a dictionary and then we iterate over it and set the value. Uh, I guess this is fine. We have a lot of unknowns, which is bad. Now we're going to fix it by adding variants. But, bef but besides that, we have blocks, which let's actually read one of them. So we have blocks and then we want to, for example, bubble bench. So, one file, of course, I didn't mean to do that, so to read the file. We have tag, which, which is just tag, which we need to replace with the actual thing. And also we have namespace over here. So, and now it does work, okay. We only need to tag, only tag is left, which is the most important part, actually. This is what the block is actually going to be. I don't like how this looks like, I'm going to be honest, because this isn't an advancement. This looks way too unreadable, so we have units, we have threads, let's add space here. For every unit in the registry, we create a thread, we append the thread, which... So, since I learned the new syntax, can I just delete this? And then just no 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 not replace it but just paste after using this thing. Is it gonna work? It is. Okay, so it's a bit more compact. So we just start the thread. Then for every unit we allocate IDs. Now we have units which for thread we get the value. We need to change this completely. I'm iterating over units like one, two, three times, which is unnecessary. So, why, how can I change this? I can use a global tree so that 
every unit doesn't have its own tree, instead it has like a, a reference to the tree, so it's gonna be something like tree equals tree, obviously it's being reassigned but it doesn't matter, so instead for every unit as an argument we provide the tree, we, need to want, we want to add a tree of type tree, which doesn't work only because of this. So I might actually not need this anymore. Yes, and it works. So we just cleaned it up heavily, which is awesome. And I can just remove this tree. No errors, no errors. Great. So now obviously we can go to tree and see what methods aren't used anymore. So if I go to reference, it's never reference, so I can just remove it. Go to reference, it is reference, so I'm not gonna I'm gonna keep it. Then we create the list of units. Now I wonder if we still need to do this though. Because if I just commit it out, is it just going to work anyway? Yes, it's just going to work anyway. So why am I even doing this in the first place? No reason. So yeah, I just turned this code. I just optimized it so much. Great. Does it still work? It does. However, we do have namespace over here. So default format, right? We have the default format. So if I now go here and use my format, so what it's going to do? Instead of returning this, it's the callable. So we just call this function like this. I believe this is good. So I call this function. I need to provide that so format. If I update it, it does work now. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna end here, at least for this part.